Hey guys, I am Flo of AllNigerianRecipes.com. In this video, I'll share how to cook ofo wa. You can also call it ofo baka. This is simply okra soup prepared with oba or baka. Here are the ingredients you will need. And here, I laid them all out for you so that you can see the quantities I used. Feel free to adjust the quantities of ingredients to your liking. The okra should not overshadow the oba. Remember, we are preparing ofoba, not okra soup. For the obstacles, I am using only fish for this soup. You can add meat if you wish. To prepare this soup, I start by soaking the stock fish in cool water. I soak the dry fish the same way. Break up the smoked fish into small pieces and debone. I have a video of how to smoke fish on my YouTube channel. After a few minutes, you can see that the stockfish is still hard. I use my special brush to wash it very well. In Nigerian markets, these stockfish are displayed in the open and they collect lots of dust. So wash, wash, wash till the dust is gone. The fastest way to soften stockfish is by using a pressure pot. With a pressure pot, this stockfish softens in 7 minutes maximum from when the pot is pressurized super fast. Grind the crayfish and oguri bay with a dry meal. Cut the okra into pieces. You can cut them any way you like. For best results, please do not blend them. You can get away with grating them, but as far as ofuwa is concerned, no blending. When the dry fish is soft, clean, debone and break them into pieces. Rinse them very well. Some dry fish contain lots of fine sand, so make sure you rinse very well. When the stockfish becomes soft, break them into pieces. Add the dry fish, oba. Crayfish and ogurio bay, smoked fish, some salt, and palm oil. <laughs> Cover and start cooking on high heat. Normally, we use garden egg leaves for this soup, but I'm using spinach, and due to the texture of spinach, I can't really explain it, but when I use leafy spinach in my Nigerian soups, I like cooking it this way first before adding to the soup. It's like blanching without using water. That way, as soon as I add it to the soup, I stir and take the soup off the stove and the soup will not have that strong taste of spinach. Back to the soup pot. By now, the water in the soup has reduced considerably. You don't want too much water in the soup. You just want enough water in there to help send down the bowls of swallow. Add the okra. Vegetable. and some salt if necessary. Stir and take it off the stove. Now, very important, transfer the soup to another container immediately. This stops the cooking process and helps keep the green vegetables green. That's it. Serve with your favorite Nigerian swallows. I love it with semolina. Bye, see you soon.